back. It's another video. And today we are going to be doing another what's in my bag video. So, um, I have been really, really enjoying watching ASMR what's in my bag videos. And I have been wanting to do one for a while. I do one back in like November, but I was like, um, I want to do another one, but it's like, I don't really change my bag that often. I usually kind of stick to the same one, like from the one that I used my last video. But, now I kind of want to do another one, but there, uh, because I'm using a new bag, and it is my My Melody backpack. So, I've been using this one for work a lot. I think I'm just going to, like, I like to kind of, like, switch around, like, whatever, like, like every week I switch around using my bag. Like I'm currently using my high melody bag. I got this from Monterey. If you want to see like all the stuff I got from like this and like other stuff that I've gotten. Um I will like you can watch the video because I did like a weekender like haul video where I like showed this off. And this bag is actually really good. I took this to San Diego with me. It was like it holds a lot. It held like my switch, even though I have like a switch light, but it held like held like this way switch. It has a little front pocket. But yeah, it's really good. And first I'll just show you like all the keychains that I have. So I have this little my melody um cupid keychain that I got from Japan too. It's super cute. And we went to like Golden Gate Park and a bunch of dogs were trying to get <laughs> I was wearing this and a bunch of dogs were trying to get to it. But then I also have this little Pets Maru keychain from Five Below. I got this little penguin keychain from Japan Town. And this little Hello Kitty like BFF keychain that I got from Coles from that I did when I did a little um, Valentine's Day gift exchange with a friend. Um, so let me show you what's in the front pocket. Let me open it up. This elf brow lift, this clear little brow wax. I because like I get I don't really want to like wear foundation all the time, but I still want to like wear a little makeup. So I'll just I have like a little brush. I'll just carry around just this. It's just like a random. It's just an elf brow brush and some brow gel and I'll just take like whenever like before I leave I'll just put a little bit on like gonna lift my eyebrows a little bit and it'll last like a four hour shift which is pretty good and then I'll wear a little bit of mascara and the mascara that I really like is the El the Essence Lash Princess the green one I haven't tried any other ones people said like the purple one is really good so maybe I'll try this one because um, this mascara is probably getting close to its expiration date so I want to switch it out because like one thing about me I don't play with my eyes because my eyes are like one of those sensitive things on my face besides like little cracks in my nose so, like my eyes get really sensitive so I'm probably gonna toss this pretty soon because I got this back in like December so it's been like six months even though you're like really supposed to switch out your mascara every six every three months but I'll just stick with the six months that it says on the tube but yeah so I'll probably try out the um I'll probably try out the like I'll probably try out the purple one or I'll just also get the green one but I just like to put it in like a little bit like just gonna go like this and also like the, like, the brush is a little crooked so yeah that's what I'll do with my makeup I'll just like put on another gloss and stuff like that. Like I won't really put on eyeshadow or anything, but if I like want to like go like more a little bit more like work like wear a little bit more makeup to like the foundation, the blush, the eyeshadow and all that stuff. But with that I'll just do that if I just don't really want to wear makeup and I wanna give my skin kind of a break. So yeah. <laughs> then let's go on to the main compartment. Alright, so let's see. Like, two of my favorite characters are, like, I 
have some like one of my favorite characters. One of my favorite characters is Batsmaru. I have this little Batsmaru coin purse. It's like a little like pouch. You don't really use it for coins or stuff like that. But I just have to hold all my like loose change in here. Like you know, maybe you need to like use change or something. That's why I always like to kind of keep this in here. So yeah, just, and I got this from Daiso. I believe. Um, I just went to Daiso recently again in Japan Town, and they had a whole bunch of these. But there is something else nice from Daiso in here, so I'll show that to you guys in a second. Oh, my, my current perfume. I have, like, I just got a new, like, little, like, rolly cart, and so I can put my, like, perfumes on, and, um, because I used to have them, like, on my shelf, but then now I want to kind of keep it as, like, a trinket shelf, because I used to share it with my perfume, but now I use this Soul de Janeiro number 68 um, body spray. I have like a whole bunch of other ones. Like I've done a perfume collection video already. But I like this one. It doesn't really last that long. But I just like it. Sorry. I got a little bit in my mouth. But yeah, this out of all the Soul de Janeiro since I think this was my favorite. But I kind of want to get like that um like I have this one right here. This is a Pacifica Indian Coconut Nectar. I think I want to start using this, but it's a little old. Yeah, it's getting uh, to that stage. But yeah, so um, I'm gonna like now that it's starting to get like I'm gonna start wearing more and more body stuff, like more perfumes and stuff. Now that's getting to the summertime. So yeah, that's like this body spray right here is the one that I really love to use, but I also kind of want to get like those like more tropical coconut ones from Salty Chanel as well. But we'll see. But this, yeah, this one I really like. It doesn't last very long, but I don't really care. Alright, so, alright, this is one of my most essential items in my bag. Another bag. So, I like to keep a little shopping bag, a little shopping tote in my bag if I ever need to go like to do some grocery shopping or like like my work is like right next to a Target so like if my mom like oh can you get like go buy a loaf of bread from Target like I forgot to go get one when I was at the store I was like oh yeah sure and then I'll just go get a loaf of bread from the Target or I'm like oh maybe I need to get some stuff for dinner or I need to get some stuff for myself um or I just want to go to Target and do some stuff I'll just grab this like maybe like every like once or twice a month i'll do like a little like me day where like i'll stay a little bit after work and like go check out like ulta target all that stuff and like go to the chipotle and stuff like that so yeah i'll just like have this little shopping bag just in case if i need it and i did tell a story from my like i think my most recent um uh basis and hates its video where literally like a third of a bottle of target brand and shoulders spilled in this bag and it still kind of smells like head and shoulders. But yeah, so. Let's see what else is here. My keys. My keys are kind of the same. I have a whole bunch of keychains on this. But I have like this little tuxedo stamp keychain. That's a tuxedo stamp. X. My hero acting, yeah. clues charm that is yellow girl i did not know it was this yellow oh my god it's yellow girl and then this little beauty keychain i really am i really need to switch all my keychains and stuff like that because they are dirty well they, a lot of these keychains are from when i was at school so they are pretty dirty but i did get this new one this is a little ghost in a potion bottle that i got from um Um, the Cherry Blossom Festival um, from Japantown, and I believe the artist for this was called Sakura Dragon. Um, she's on Instagram. She's super cool. I saw her at the Cherry Blossom Festival, and she was really nice. But yeah, so that was, um, that was that. Um, I have this random fortune because we went, me and my friend went to the tea gardens when I went to during that San Francisco trip. And we ate at the little tea, like, 
um, little like tea house, and I we got like fourteen cookies, and I got this one that says um, I actually speak a lot of the words. They had like very basic ones, but yeah. So I just keep this in there. I should really just get it out. Now my hands smell like dirty metal. All right, now I have my little lanyard with my little goals. I always keep my lanyard in my bag because when I was working at college at Baja Fresh, I would sometimes forget my thing and I would like be like, why don't I keep it in my bag? So now I keep my lanyard in my bag because you do get in trouble if you don't wear your lanyard, lanyard to work. So I have my little lanyard. I have my name tag. It's like kind of faded. And I'll, I have like this little, um, little hand sanitizer thing. A lot of my coworkers wear it, so I'm like, why not wear it myself? And the scent that I have is cherry blossom. Kind of fitting. Anyways, my hands stink from that from those keys. Alright, let's see what else. My wallet, I will show it in my wallet, but I have a couple of things I'll show you guys. This one, this is a little Sanrio one, and it has three containers. I have 
my allergy pills, my melatonin, and I have ibuprofen in a little bit good part of it. Because allergy pills, because obviously allergy season. And then ibuprofen just in case if I need it, just in case if I get like a headache at work or something. And melatonin for just just to help sleep. I know I really shouldn't be taking melatonin that much, but I need to try to find something else. I don't want to try magnesium, but I don't know. Right, final thing is my lip gloss bag. I never leave the house without this. I never leave the house without lip gloss. And I'll show you what is in here. So first I have to have this little mirror. I got this from the Dollar Tree like a long time ago. But it's just like a full a little hand mirror that I keep with me when I'm on the go. My I think my all-time favorite lip gloss, my bomb now, these are varieties one. I was so hesitant on getting this one. I was like for the longest time I was like, is it really that good? It's like twenty something dollars for a lip balm. But it really hooked me. And I love this lip balm now. I just have the vanilla one. But I also saw that Tower 28, the lip softy, they have a purple one. And I think I'm gonna get it. I don't know. Because although birthday one, if they were to release that on my birthday, I would have gotten it. But now I'm like, I already have my summer Fridays one. And then now I have this Buxom. This is one from the birthday present um, from Ulta. This is the Buxom full on plumbing lip gloss in the shade of Dolly. And this is probably the best shade match to my lips of any lip gloss that I've ever tried. I think a gloss one was from uh, uh, NYX, but look. It looks like I'm wearing a clear lip gloss, but I'm not. I like to kind of dip into this a couple of times because the, the one thing I don't like is that the toe fit is kind of small. I think it may be because it's just a mini size. Like, once I run out of this, I'm getting the full size for sure. I love this lip gloss so much. And all these lip glosses I wore to work. And then I have this NYX lip oil in the shade Supermodel. It is nice, a little hot pink shimmer. Another new favorite of mine, the Lawless Forget the Filler lip gloss. I got this for my birthday. And this is in the shade Daisy Pink. I believe, yes, Daisy Pink. I love wearing this. I you had a, I have a little bit of a problem with like my lips looking too light and it looks a little weird but I try not to wear too much of this but then also my tried and true nothing will compare my essence clear lip gloss I have the one in sweet dreams I have the clear one but I think sweet dreams is my favorite I like the clear one but I think the sweet dreams one is my favorite because it adds a little bit of sparkle and like I like Milky Way from Essence, but that one has a little bit too much sparkle and gives a little bit too much color. But yeah, but I think Buxom is like a close second. This Buxom one, it's super cool. And let me put this on my Friday's one back. And this is, this bag is from Daiso as well. It has my Melody and it has Karomi on the back. I like my Melody and Karomi. A lot of Hello Kitty stuff in here. But yeah, this is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And follow all my Instagrams and all my socials down in the Jubilee Do. And without further ado, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope you guys have a nice and safe day. Bye.